University of California, Santa Cruz, home to an accredited biology program, a respected environmental studies course, a commemorable literary degree, and, of course, this guy. Sammy the Banana Slug, UC Santa Cruz's colorful mascot. Uh, some of the locals weren't too pleased with the decision, but uh, if you ask me, it's one of the coolest mascots out there. At first glance, the banana slug may not look like a cool mascot, but by the end of this video, I think park ranger Steve Elmore will change your mind about the slimy slug. So uh, how, how fast can these guys go? So these guys are actually pretty quick little suckers. Uh, they can go about 35 feet in an hour. Okay, so they're not that fast, but Steve kind of buried the lead here, so let's give him another chance. And then it's got a mouth which has more teeth in it than a great white shark. That's a lot of teeth. Thousands and thousands of little tiny, tiny teeth. Yeah, now we're talking. Steve is a ranger at Henry Cowell State Park in Santa Cruz, and he loves to impress people with his banana slug knowledge. The whole, the whole bottom part of the banana slug we call the foot. And that's what it uses to move. It just kind of undulates along like that. Does that look like a foot to you? Yeah. All right, so some facts are more impressive than others, like this fun fact. And they actually have, believe it or not, one of the largest penis to body size ratios in the animal kingdom. Huh, that's, uh, that's, that's something special to have. Yeah. Just to be clear, Steve does not share that fact with kids. He does, however, point out other odd body parts, like the asymmetrical breathing hole, or the slug's eyes and nose. Um, we call them tentacles because it is descended from a sea snail. Um, the top two are its eyes. And the bottom two are little chemical sniffers, basically the equivalent of its noses. You'll often find banana slugs in coastal regions, like the redwood forests at Henry Cowell State Park, because they provide lots of food, moisture, and shelter, like the hole in this redwood. You're telling me that inside this hole here, it's like a, a, a banana slug den? Uh, yeah, or we often refer to it as the banana slug hotel. Not all, but many of the slug hotels were created by fire that burned the redwoods a long time ago. Want to know what it's like inside a slug hotel? Check out the Fremont Redwood. A fire burned out a 26-foot tall hole that at one time was used for an actual hotel for people. It's a little tricky getting in, but yes, at one point in time, back when this was a resort, you could come and stay in here, and they called it the bridal chamber. Oh, oh, okay. When the banana slug is not sleeping, they're eating a lot. Banana slug is the second largest slug in the world, averaging 10 and a half inches. What are they eating? Ah, so banana slugs, I think the easiest answer to that is what aren't they eating? Banana slugs are decomposers. They eat dead plants, leaves, animal droppings, and mushrooms. They love mushrooms. Banana slugs also help spread seeds and spores and fertilize the forest with their slime. Speaking of the slime, the mucus-like film that covers their body is one of two defense mechanisms that the slugs have. It provides really good protection, um, helps with their locomotion, and uh, makes them really kind of unfriendly to eat. The other defense mechanism is the banana slug's distinctive yellow color. It's actually camouflage. I'm starting to see why he is this color now, huh? Exactly. So these banana slugs often do look just like our California bay or bay laurel leaves. Big teeth, big body parts, and a protective slime layer, it's no wonder that UC Santa Cruz chose the banana slug as their mascot. This slug has virtually no predators. So the banana slug's uh, main predator or worst enemy, I guess, is just no moisture. Yeah, uh, that would be a good way to put it. Lucky for the banana slugs at Henry Cowell State Park, the redwoods trap in a lot of moisture. And chances are, if you visit, you'll find a banana slug. And while you're there, check out the second largest tree in the world and get up close to a rare albino redwood. From the sticky banana slug den in Henry Cowell State Park, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.